It's Vince Ryder here. Welcome back to Be My Villain. And to, oh my god, there's a freaking season two finale. I haven't even gone to the season one finale. There is a season one finale. Oh my god, we are way behind. We are way behind. Now, is this a me problem? Maybe it is. But anyways, episode 20, In Your Belly, Shadow Maker. He just came out of nowhere and took down the entire convoy all by himself. I see that the vehicle is registered under prov province medical supplies, as you mentioned. And you're not sure what he took. Do you have any idea what it could be? No idea. We just transport basic medical supplies, so I have no clue why he want any of it. Doesn't look like the type of th to care about medical aid. Hopefully, he'll be able to get more information soon. Thank you for your time. We'll be speaking with your company to figure everything out. In the meantime, um, uh, who's that? Uh, found a tracker. Excuse me? Uh, looks like it belongs to the medical supply company. Found it about two miles north. It seems to be completely fried. So I'm not sure if the lab will be able to get anything out of it. I know that, look, what's on your mind? It just doesn't make sense. Why weren't there, they wanting to track their basic medical supplies? And not only that, but nothing on this list seems worth shipping all the way out here, let alone taking down an entire convoy for, you're right. But we can't roll out Shadowmaker needing specific medical supplies we need to figure out exactly what's missing first. Not going to be easy, considering it seems like everything burned down that crafty bastard. For now, let's drop this tracker off at the lab and maybe go back home if you're tired. Uh, uh, I told you, I'm not going to let Shadowmaker ruin my anniversary weekend. Lab, then hotel, got it. So, um, it sounds like you had a busy weekend. Did you get to finish everything you want to? Yes. Wow, lucky you. I procrastinated the whole week, and now I have a chaton of essays to finish. Uh, but at least I'm getting better at baking cookies. Give me some. Here. I thought I'd bake you some more since you seem to really like your hand. Oh dear. Oh, this? I wasn't paying attention chopping uh, some stuff up in the kitchen. Ooh, oh, that's a big band-aid, but thank you. It's not that bad. And do you normally carry bandages around? Because I remember you gave me one for my face, like the second time we met. I carried one around for you in case I see you again. <gasps> really? A and you still carry them around for me? Yes, I don't need them. Well, um, this one really isn't that bad. I know I don't have super strength like you do, but I can handle a little knife cut. Oh, fine. I guess I'll take it. So, I know you're really strong and you can move really fast, but do you heal faster too? Yes. Just like dads. Can I ask you how long you've had your powers for? What's it like having all that superpower? It's got to be more fun than being someone like me, right? You get to enjoy a view like this whenever you want to just get away from it all. If I could jump like you, I'd be flying around the city every night. Imagine how amazing that would be. Uh, What are you doing? What what are you doing? We can do it. Uh, oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, we're doing this. We're Oh, that's scary. Shoot, I pissed my pants on you, okay? I'm sorry. Listen, let's. you got to piss on you. And I'll, I'm just screaming for dear life, looking down in freaking Burj Khalifa. Like, it's going to be... It's, it's terrifying. You promise you're not going to drop me, right? I'm going to open my eyes now. And if I pass out, you have to stop, okay? Oh, my God. Oh, God, I love the cyberpunk view of this. Look at, I love that. 
I always love cyberpunk. But what the heck is happening? And where are we going? And why are you sad? Why are you sad? Why? Oh, what's happening? Are you going to kiss him? <gasps> kiss him in the cheek. Oh, that would be funny. Mm-hmm. Ah! <laughs> and falls down. <laughs> falls down over the lane miles. Okay, I'm, I'm dark. Um, You sure you don't uh want to apply to an ac- academy with me? I know you said you don't want to, but you sure you don't want to at least consider it an option? Your dads can help you, and uh, you'll be so good at it. Still to know, and in what universe do you think I make a good super, super, super agent? Okay, I thought I said super pageant. And I know I live with two. Oh, come on. I saw you rescuing that girl like a total badass. Yeah, I almost got killed doing it, so technically Shadowmaker rescued her, not me. And plus, I don't know, I see my dads doing what they do, and yeah, the world needs people like them, but I don't think it's for me. I guess I still have no idea uh, what I'm going to do with my life. Dads keep telling me everything's going to be fine, but I can tell they're worried. Your dads are right, you know? You're fine. Worst case scenario, you can take a year off after I graduate to figure things out. Man, I wish I had that. And who knows? Maybe you'll end up living on some tiny farm somewhere like you wanted and find out you're like some god of growing tomatoes or something. Like a green thumb? Uh, Maybe. But for a guy who isn't into being a super agent, you seem pretty good at it. You literally have Shadowmaker's number on your phone and getting him to give you intel even the agency couldn't get. Which reminds me, how is it going with him? Oh, who's that? It's it's going well. Almost too well. Oh my god, that heart. That blush. It's actually kind of freaking me out. I know this is going to sound crazy, but I spent so many years hiding from my dad's are and staying pretty much invincible to everyone. But then he comes along and he acts like I'm someone special and tries so hard to spend time with me and make me happy. And I know I barely know anything about him. I don't even know what he looks like. And for all I know, the name he gave me might even be fake. But something about him, I feel like I can just talk to him about anything, you know? Uh, What the hell is wrong with me? Will you relax? I get it. You do? From what you've uh, told me, he treats you well and is really trying to make you happy. And you've been happier lately spending time with him, right? Yeah, I guess I am. But I don't forget I still am worried, you know. I just trust you to make smart decisions even when I, you don't always make them. I think I am way past making smart decisions. All right, Aiden, seems like you managed to steal the right stuff from the convoy last week. Oh, uh, what's this? So much for being a small medical supply company, huh? Here are the analysis results you've been waiting for. What? So the rumors are true. Someone out there is developing new serums. I compared it to some samples received from the faction as well as what I could get from your blood. Click. Its base structure is identical to the one they use on you. But there's uh, definitely been a few modifications. It's different from anything in my database. Now as to what these modifications translate into in human subjects that I haven't figured out yet. And since we can't seem to trace where these came from, I'm just going to have to run more tests. Here you should keep one just in case. Oh my gosh, it's him. Uh, no breaking anything in my sacred workplace. Anyway, I hear that the 
agency has been doing a lot of digging on their own. It seems you, your convoy destroying stun has them scratching their heads. I doubt they think you were after a box of gals. What the heck is that? And unless they're completely incompetent, I'm sure they're, they, excuse me, they realize that something suspicious is going on. Uh, but for now, they still have no idea what you think. And so I take advantage of while it lasts. Anyways, I'll continue to look into that medical supply company. I've been digging, but I've hit a lot of walls, so it might take a while. I get the feeling that something big is about to happen, and not in a good way. You sure you don't want to recruit some people from the faction? I can do a vetting myself if you like. No. And I should get going now. So stubborn. Rayong. Thank you for the results. Anytime. Just uh, make sure you come back next week for that upgrade. Are you trying to steal his heart? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Aiden, be careful. Nod. Of course, so because he's so freaking cool. Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay. No one saw that. <laughs> no one saw that. Uh, anyways, where are we at? Episode 22. What are we about to do? Stare? Oh, we're doing a staring contest? I win. Uh, is this something on my face? You look bad. Wow, thanks a lot, jeez. What? Something's not good. Something is bothering you. Oh, oh, you mean that. He really has a way of with words, huh? Oh, well, it's my senior year, so I've been thinking about that, uh, what to do after graduating. The problem is that I have no idea what I want to do or what I can do. Everyone around me is super motivated and have clear goals in life. Sometimes I feel like I'm just the only one just falling behind. Man, I feel like that all day. Sorry, I didn't mean to unload all of that on you. This must all be so boring. I like listening to you talk. <gasps> what? Well, I like... Oh, what's happening? Why is everything red? What's going on? There's a kitten! Oh, jeez, Louise, crash. What the heck? Oh, yeah, that's your cat. But then, you know, this is this is something else. Oh, God. Oh, oh, no. 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 K yes. Boyfriend to the rescue. What the heck was that? What kind of explosion? Nuclear? Like someone literally just, just tried to explode them? Or what? what is happening? That was a close one. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Run. Run. What? Huh? Keep this on. You, and don't turn around. What? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. So we finally meet. Would have come by to say hi sooner, but we had a surprise visit from some pesky agents. And then I hear that you've been doing some snooping around into our little business. The coordinates he gave me. Huh? Oh, jeez. Don't look. Don't look back now. That was a close one. Jeez, Louise. Anyways, that was treat. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you subscribe, like, comment, and adjust. There's going to be more soon, but I'll see you when I see you. One love and a peace.